Mornings are really exciting because it gets all the drag queens in New York City in the same building for free. Will there be cat bites? No. All of us are too drunk to even think about getting into any fights. I wouldn't believe a word this thing said, baby. What is he saying? What is he doing to you? He said your pussy stinks. Hello. Oh, she know that's a lie. Girl. Go off, go off, go get you some. Don't stand there like you don't want none. <laughs> Colorful ethnics. This is my favorite event of the year here in New York City. Um, it's a chance for all of us who work in nightlife to c get together and don our biggest hair, you know, best dress, feathers, and do what we do. Just hang out, yeah. drink, and... And see what the competition is up to. What is the competition up to? Not well, much. from what I saw, not much, honey. No, I'm just Hello. joking. Oh. There is no competition. Is. My publicist told me this was the Grammy Awards. And yes. that this was Madonna. No, honey, it's the Granny Awards. The gra That's why we're here. The <laughs> then, it, then it could be Madonna. Well, I, well, it could be me too. Darling, I won the first Lifetime Legend Award at the very first Glammys in, at Barracuda, and I broke the trophy trying to blow the bar back in the basement. So I let these awards be for the younger girls who need them on their resumes. <laughs> Cherry gen gen genuinely does support the entire drag community, and you got to give it up for her 13 years. I know from Wixock it's not easy putting events with lots of drag queens together because we can be difficult. But, you know, Cherry does it out of her love for the many different types of drag, and there's a huge turnout, and it's the event's gotten better and better every year. I haven't been here in a couple of years, so I'm eager to... And then people suck up to her for like 11 months out of the year. Right, and she sucks up to them, and that's why she added the Go-Go Boy uh, uh, category. Cherry Jubilee, I don't know, she pulls it together. She's like the, uh, the Alan Carr, remember him in the 70s? You're too young. Wasn't that Betty White's husband? That was Alan Ludden. Ah. My references are just... Tomato, tomato. But it's a, it's a full year. First of all, just yeah. tucking and getting into the dress and then getting all these people together and having them behave and not be uh, killing each other when they lose. Yeah. Is, is the competition really heated like that? You know what? Before Facebook, it was kind of much calmer. But now people can campaign. And it's like, vote for me, press like, vote for me again, you know. For your consideration. Yeah, press love. And, yeah, for your, yeah, it's like, it's so sick, but I did it too, so. Oh my God, it's so, it's so exciting. It's so great to see all of our peers and people that we see within the night. Yeah, within the night. Night within creatures. The night, within the night on the street. Night crawlers. You can't yes. see anything with them glasses yes, on. Girl. Don't believe them. Absolutely. I can't see a thing. Because you are nominated for best duo or group. We yes. are. Yes. We are. That is so true. We're so happy to be here to support all of our friends. The nomination is really actually what we you know, are happy about. If we don't win, it's we don't win. But we get, we are proud to be nominated. Did you rehearse that? No, actually. Now, who do you think is your stiffest competition in that category? In that category? I think Excel. They have the edge this year. They've been here. You know, they made an appearance last year, and they're leaps and bounds from where they were last year. Now, you know, they're on tour. They got an album, blah blah blah. So, and a Glammy, you know, winning a Glammy can really help uh, elevate someone's career to the middle rung of mediocre clubs and bars in the greater metropolitan area. It's true. I don't disagree with anything you're saying. Yeah. Viewing audience, I am Thorgy or Thorgy Thor, and here we are at the Glammy Awards. And you're up for at least one Glammy, if not more. I'm up for, I think, four. What are the categories? Um, let's see. Best comedic performer, best breakthrough, best dressed, and best door person. Fantastic. But I am also um, up for the Saliva Tuesdays at the Rest as the best weekly event. So basically, it's the Thorgy Thor That's award. That's basically what I was going to say. It was the, the Glammy slash Thorgy's going to win everything awards. Yeah. What does your name mean exactly? Oh, well, my middle name is actually Thor. I got it from my grandfather. Are you Norwegian? I am Norwegian, yeah. That's hot. Yeah. Do you have any brothers or cousins? I have an older sister. Uh, and I do have cousins who look... How big is her cock? It's pretty big, but my cousins, growing up with my cousins, we were always naked in the pool. They got some big ass dicks. I don't know what to say. We should have a family party. You should come. And should I, come. Should, I will come. All right. Try yeah. it. Okay. Did you grow up in Norway? I can't believe I just talk about how big my dick, my cousin's dicks are. But That's okay, uh, Mama. I was going to find out. What were you going to say? What? what? So tell me about your outfit. Oh, my outfit. Uh, well, I got this. Actually, this is a vintage costume from uh, Mummers, who are in the Fidel Philadelphia. They do, like, parades every year. And this was one of, like, the head... 
you know, marchers in the parades. And it's kind of like country. Mardi Gras flavor. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I have had this in my house for a year. Where else do you wear this? Where else do you wear this? So now, who is up for best dress this year? I really have no idea, but I, I'm pretty confident Amanda is, and I think Epiphany is as well. Who? Epiphany. I'm sorry, who? Epif Epif yeah, I, I'm Epif sorry. You know. So Amanda is probably going to snatch it, you think? Yeah, well, I don't know. Well, she's half naked all the time. Of, yeah, true story. But Epiphany has had a lot Who? of great... Epiphany. Who? Okay. What are the other categories? <laughs> Do you have a favorite go-go boy, for instance? I love Geronimo. I think Geronimo should win. And because he's so sexy and he's so sweet and he's so real. And although he's like one of the only actual straight... Oh, not please. For, no, I'm so serious. He's like not a gay for pay oh, come on. escort. I'm so serious. I'm sorry. There's okay. issues there. Yeah, I would ask him, but his dick be in my mouth too long. No, that's not true. I've never met the man. Oh, well, I, you need to I, meet I, him. He's listen, so sexy. Girl, so um, he ain't straight. He's no, he's not straight, girl. Trust me. Really? Trust me. I, I'm th it's a gimmick. It's a, it's, a brilliant, <laughs> it's a brilliant PR move. Well, it's working. It's yeah. working. What brings you to the Glammys, oh, royal one? Oh, the Imperial Court loves the Glammys. We support all of our fellow performers and all the groups and everything. We, it's just so nice to be here. And yeah, yeah, that's great. Is your friend tripping out on LSD? Ah, a little bit. A little bit. No. Are you on drugs, sir? So how would you describe the Glammy Awards? Uh, the Glammys is, you know, it's everyone in the nightlife gets together and tries to get along and win awards. And uh, <laughs> Willy Wonka over there, what are your thoughts on the Glammys? Willy Wonka. Oh. The Glammys, gorgeous, yes, all about nightlife and celebrating and acknowledging all of the DJs, performers, comedians, everyone that makes New York what it is and takes part in, you know, Making it special and unique in the rest of the world. So and we love any opportunity to put the jewels on, put the dress on, and come hang out. You show off, girl. We love You're exhibitionist we bitch. Love it, girl. It's been a rough fucking day. What Can happened? I just say, girl, I've been shopping. I had to go to the ghetto to buy some wigs. Yes, uh, obviously. Yes, yes, yes. So it got it got a little physical. So you snatched that wig off like some anime looking bitch. Yeah, some Asian, some some Blasian girl. I think mm. I, I couldn't tell. Yes. Now what brings you to the Glammys? Oh, my, my friend Jordan Fox is nominated, of course, for best uh, host or something. I don't remember. You don't even know? <laughs> what kind of fucking friend are you? A really, really bad one. You're a terrible. <laughs> now, what's the difference between, like, a door person and a bouncer? A bouncer is a big, black, scary, straight man, and a door person is a sh- You leave Peppermint out of this. Anyways, a door person is some, some skinny little bitch with a list who's just cunty. That's Jordan Fox. Oh, okay. So she could probably snatch it. Oh, totally. Are we live? Uh, I'm sort of live. Are you live? I'm definitely live. I hate nightlife. Do you know why? Why? Because it's filled with dilettantes and young hot people and creative types, and I'm jealous of all of them. I would be, but I'm also creative. We should start this interview now. Introduce yourself to my audience. <laughs> yes, we should start the interview. I said introduce yourself to my audience. Should I introduce myself or should I not? Why not? Maybe I should. I am Lady Havoc. I am the craziest bitch you will meet besides Lady Bunny. And girl, you always be rocking them eyebrows. Why, thank you. What's up with the eyebrows? I don't know. I feel like eyebrows are sort of like the, like what makes the face. Are you like the Brooke Shields of the Brooklyn drag circuit? I wish I was from Brooklyn. Would you like of that ilk? I am of that ilk. Yeah, so what made you start dressing all funny? What made me start dressing all funny is, um, I don't know, I, when I first, do you know the movie Camp? No. Nope. You've never seen them? Okay, well, um, the movie called Camp was, is about a sort of like a bunch of gay people who go to like a, stay like a musical theater camp. Sorry. <laughs> I just got started doing drag. Can't you give me a snappy answer like child molestation or you were like, on Ritalin or you were Actually, deprived of oxygen were you are you really I am on Ritalin right now well yeah I have ADHD Crap, break it out is it capsules or no I don't have it on me <laughs> Sherry Vine according to my research you are nominated for best female to male transgendered circus performer yes hunty how did you earn that honor it's been a work in progress what do the Glammys mean to you the Grammys are very important industry music. Gla glam Glammys. Oh, the Grannies are, well, you know, I'm always nominated for Best Granny. No, I'm kidding. Gla glam glammies. Glammies, okay. Yep. 
the Glammys. Um, well, it's really fun because it's you know there aren't that many events that um, recognize nightlife people, especially the drag queens and transgendered. And everybody, I mean, everybody is here tonight, done, dressed up, and it's it's really gorgeous. Dysfunctional family reunion. Exactly, with alcohol. Now, remember that year that you didn't douche and it was called the Clammies? <laughs> yes, I do. So, Gusty. Mike. We meet again. Yet again. I understand you're nominated for Best Duo or Group. I'm not nominated for that at all. What are you nominated for? Nothing. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Gusty, tell me about your look tonight. Well, I was really upset that I was not nominated in the best dancer category because I believe that they discriminate against the larger size person. Because we don't dance with our legs, we dance with our faces. It has nothing to do with your epilepsy. Not at all. Yeah. So when I was not nominated for best dancer, I decided that I was going to uh, stage a silent, gorgeous protest dressed as the drag version of the Black Swan. That is wonderful. I think everything you do should be silent. This is Mike Diamond with the gorgeous Gusty wins at the 2011 Glammy Awards, and neither one of us are nominated for a fucking thing. Thank you, Gusty. You want to go get a drink or something? <laughs>